Up plates and meals at a deal. Southwest Florida is sizzling and this time we are not talking about the heat. Tonight is the first night of sizzle dining, the annual three week appetizing adventure where you can get otherwise expensive dishes for less. There are many restaurants participating from Charlotte County down to Collier County. And I beat Amy Gallo joins us live from Fifth Avenue in Naples. I hear she's full from all the food. Amy, this year there is a generous twist. That's right, this year $1 per every entree sold goes towards Blessing in a Backpack, which is a local organization that helps elementary age students who are food insecure. So if the great food isn't motivation enough to come out, then the great cause certainly is. Meatballs, key lime tarts, chicken piccata, flatbreads. But I'm really here for the oysters and the cornbread and the bananas, yeah. Sizzle Dining is back. The annual three week long appetizing adventure gives you a chance to try insanely good dishes. Chicken piccata, chicken marsala, we're uh, showcasing our cheese ravioli that's made across the way, homemade in house. All our pastas are made in house as well. From a number of local high end restaurants for much cheaper with three course meals for $29, $39 and $49 and even better. This year, and what it does is it donates uh, blessings in a backpack, which helps underprivileged children, which is a great cause. One dollar from every entree sold will go towards food insecure children in Southwest Florida. It's amazing. I mean, when you become a mom, everything kind of changes, and your perspective on things change, and you really think about all the other kids out there and what they have and don't have. For all the restaurants involved, and there's a lot, from Cape Coral to Fort Myers to Naples to Marco Island, it means a great deal to give back to the community after the year we've had. After the hurricane, you know, this is our community. We got hit, of course, and we just want to give back in that certain way and just have everyone, our, our locals, as well as our, our lovely tourist people, come out and just enjoy uh, what we have to offer. So it's all yummy food. All of the restaurants I visited today warned that they were a lot busier today than usual, and it's only day one of Sizzle Dining, so they recommend that if you're wanting to go to some of these places, you should make a, rec a reservation. And if you're interested in looking at any of the menus or seeing which restaurants are involved in this event this year, you can do so online at winknews.com. Live on the Night Beat, Amy Gallo, Wink News. Yeah, it is a great opportunity to, great. to try some things. And also give back, yeah. so it's a win-win. Makes you feel good.